the past. Hello YouTube, Nate here. We're going to start a brand new series, something that I came up with, thought it'd be really interesting. Uh, basically, we're going to go through some old games that we used to play as kids, me and my brother. Um, found a website that has a lot of them, and so we're going to go through them. Good evening. I am Smethels, your steward. And, if I may say so, it is good to see you up and about. You've been in your cabin the whole voyage. A touch of the Maldon Mare, was it? Seasickness can be quite unpleasant, especially if it's one's first crossing. Since you haven't been out of your cabin, may I instruct you on how to get assistance while on board the Titanic? Very well. Your correspondence. 2,200 on board, and they all want messages delivered. Here, a map of the ship for you. Compliments of the White Star Line. I have taken the liberty of indicating your cabin, C-73. Of course, on a Sunday evening at this hour, there won't be many people out. Will there be anything else? Have you unpacked? You'll find your trunk key in your bag, on the bed. If you require additional assistance, please ring the bell by the door. Good night. So that was Smettles. Uh, he's my butler. So this is Titanic Adventures Out of Time. So it takes place on the Titanic, of course. And this was one of my favorite games as a kid, but I was never that good at it. There's so many ways to die in this thing. But if you look around, I mean, they did a really good job. So basically, this is your map. The entire ship is just like it was. These are actual um, maps of the ship. The whole ship is here, pretty much. Um, there's actually a tour mode that you can do that um, just lets you run around the ship. So the game is controlled with the mount, the arrow keys, um, or WASD, to move around the ship and use your mouse to click on things. So there's some NPCs here. You can tell NPCs because they look really weird and you can't click on them. So we're going to go out here to the boat deck uh, and to the gymnasium to meet with our contact. Glory be. It's about time. You're late. Another five minutes and I'd have cancelled your mission. Yes, I'm Pringle. Penny Pringle. From the Bureau of Secret Service. You didn't think they'd plunk you down on this bucket of bolts and millionaires alone, did you? Look at this. A German colonel named Zeitel. He's inspecting their embassies in Havana, Washington and Mexico City. We know better. Ten days ago, the Bureau got word that Zeitel has in his possession a priceless copy of the Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam, stolen two months ago in Paris after its purchase by a very highly placed member of His Majesty's government. Of course, didn't they tell you anything? His Lordship's watching this very closely. Very closely indeed. I wouldn't fumble this chance either, unless you fancy spending the rest of your career in some grotty Midlands back office shuffling paper about. No, he's with a protégé, name of Hedelitz, I believe. The two spend a great deal of time in the Café Parisien, nibbling pastries. Get into the wireless room. I don't know or care how. Officer Morrow wouldn't let me in. See if Zeitel's received or sent any telegrams about the Rubaiyat. You've got a cryptograph in your trunk. It'll unscramble the German codes for you. You use the brains God gave you. Watch people. Listen. When you find the Rubaiyat, knock on my door. Cabin F, 34. Use the second class stairs. 
You should be set. Remember, this is your big chance. Don't fail. After all this time, it's Georgia. I'd heard you on board. Where have you been? It's been five years. I'd have waited a lot longer to see you again. Why didn't you tell me where you... So basically what you saw there was a little encounter. There are a few side missions and some side things to do, but basically... Uh, you're part of the British Secret Service, and it's your, you got this mission going on the Titanic, and, uh, it's pretty cool. Don't you love the sea air? Ah, really clears out the sinuses. Max Seidelman, Philadelphia, PA. Buyer for Haymaker's Department Store. The Sharpie of Spruce Street, they call me. You a sporting type? You look like the sporting type. Great. A pleasure. Hedilitz and I, we welcome diversion during such an uneventful passage, don't we, Willy? Certainly. Willy is at the University of Vienna, dissecting children's fables. C cultural mythology, it's quite interesting. So only a junior professor, I... I see. I'm envious. Unfortunately, my work does not permit me to indulge in the pleasures of the leisure class. Me? Inspecting our embassies. Imperial Germany desires to make a good impression in North America. The Colonel was saying this wireless stuff's revolutionizing everything. Like the Titanic, a technological triumph. See? What did I tell you? What did I say? So this game goes pretty quick, there are a lot of people you can talk to, uh, but basically the reason I talked to that guy was because this is the only chance you have of, of grabbing the Zydel pipe, and it will come in handy later. Right now, right now we're going to um, speed around here a bit, because we need to get the wireless room. So, the girl I talked to on the ship that gave me uh, these, this necklace is an old friend and she th her husband is basically going to be divorcing her and she's going to be left penniless, yada yada. Um, and she, gives you, she gave me that necklace to hold on to. So this is the wireless room. <clears throat> you always know pretty much where you are because there's this nice square box at the top that tells you like what you're looking at. And I got to get in here. Good evening. Third Officer Morrow here. Sorry, the wireless room's off limits to passengers. No passengers allowed. Yes, yes. This is the officer's promenade. Yes. Yes. No moon. I don't like that. Tom works in the Admiralty. S Never have. Not since the war. South Africa. An interesting connection. For all I know. Have a look, why don't you? Mind you. Phillips will have my head if he catches you in there, but I don't see any harm. Go on in. So basically, I just had to sweet talk that officer. You talk to him about um, the sea and all that other stuff, and um, he ends up liking you, so you he lets you in. So this is what I'm looking for. So Penny, my contact, wanted me to grab this. Um, 
any communications that Zeitel, the German, has been having with the outside world. And so that's a telegram with a secret code on it. You can see how good this ship looks. You know, it's the mid-90s game. It does take a minute to load in, like, high res when, when you're moving. But overall, the, it works pretty well. So, going to the grand staircase. The ship can be a little confusing. I've played this a bit, so I know how to work, uh, work it. I mean, just look at this. This is really good detail. So, I gotta go down to C deck, because that's where my cabin is. So let's go down there. You can always tell which C deck, because your butler is always standing there. And these are the captains. So, to interact with things, you just have to... Um, 79, 73. You click on things um, on the other side. So yeah, you can get a little bit lost in this. Um, so let me check which my cabin number is. I'm on the wrong side. Alright. So the map will always show you where you're at. C73. So we gotta use our trunk. So you wanna select our trunk key, hit OK, and then just drag it. So this is our cryptograph. And we're gonna open our bag and we're gonna select. And we're gonna stick that up there, so we have to decode this thing. So we'll turn it on. You may have heard that. The, this has been modified to be able to run on uh, Windows 7. It doesn't like it too much. So the, every time you interact with something by clicking on it, it kind of messes the music up for a second. So now we have it set. We need to type in our code. Code. And this is what we get. Barubayat is hidden in Boiler Room 3, Coal Shoot 4. So we now have... We have... We know what we're doing. Okay? So this is basically going around doing what people ask you to do and, and figuring things out and, and stuff like that. Need to go to the grand staircase. But if I click on my map and go to F deck, I can warp to the second class stairs. I like the warping system because you don't there's a lot of running around in this game. So we're gonna go talk to Penny. You decoded the message. Smashing. The boiler rooms. Blast. There's an entrance to the lower depths around here somewhere. Query the lift attendant. He's cheeky, but he knows this ship. Intercept the Rubaiyat before it changes hands. So we gotta get to the boiler room, and that goes through the turbine room. I'm gonna be blasting through as much of this game as I can. I just wanna show you guys as much as possible. So we need to get past this guy. What a, a passenger? I can't regulate the steam for boilers one and two. So I don't have time for you. You're where you shouldn't be. Get up top before you're kicked up there. Oh, I doubt it. She's really acting up. See? Still working the bugs out of her. See for yourself. Have at it. There's a gauge showing the turbine's power output. The needle's got to move into the green zone. Over here. So this is kind of a silly puzzle. They're basically throwing you into the operations of the ship just because you stumbled by. 
basically just what the guy said, this has to get into the green. All you have to do to solve this puzzle is every time you move something, you have to make sure that the needle it's a little finicky, that the needle is farther toward the green than it was before you started messing with it. And if you do that, it's really finicky. Alright, we're not gonna mess with that anymore. You can see what I mean about the sounds messing up. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh. This is the most finicky puzzle ever. There we go. Running much smoother now. Say, since you were so interested, go on, have a have a peek in the engine room. She's quite a sight. So I basically fixed his problem, and he's gonna let me just wander into the engine room, which is good because that's where I need to go. So this is the engine room. Now I just love this game for partly because of how beautiful it is. They really took their time and got it pretty good. So we need to go to Bowler Room 3, and we're going to meet somebody when we get in there. A stowaway. You are a passenger. Excuse me, I would speak with you. Forgive me, I am sorry to intrude on you, a person of such high station. I am flat. I have men. I am leaving my home. I am a Serb, and they have killed my wife, my children, the Austrians. For that, they will pay. But I do not want to burden you. Please, I need a favor. I have a friend in first class, in cabin A-14. Mr. Bobicon has a package for me. Can you bring it here? I am a stowaway. If I am caught, maybe they throw me overboard. Please get the package. I've eaten nothing since we sailed. Say for a rat who is not so fast. His name is Barbican, in A14. Tell him you've come from Vlad. He will give you out the package. I wait here for your return. Your assistance will be repaid manyfold. So that little animatic is showing that time has moved forward. There are about six of them in the game, and when you get uh, done with all of them, the ship basically sinks. So we need to go and find the Rubaiyat, which is in one of these. It's hidden in one of these. There we go. So there's the Rubaiyat. Now, I can take the Rubaiyat, but if I go up that ladder, Vlad will kill me. He'll take the Rubaiyat and shoot me. So what I have to do is put the Rubaiyat in a different hole and then go. So there are two ways you can do this. You can try to take that up there, in which case he'll kill you. Or you can ignore the Rubaiyat and go and do his errand. Oh, come on, let me, let me go there. Oh. Um, I can't jump anywhere when I'm in the boiler room, or when I'm, in the, when I'm down here on the low deck. So basically, if you leave Vlad, and leave the Rubaiyat, and then go and do his mission, when he gets back, he'll tell you that he's picked up something very important, and he's very happy, he'll be rewarded, blah blah blah. Basically, Vlad takes the Rubai out while you're gone. So that's why you have to hide it. So we're going to go to the second class stairs, and then we're going to go to A deck, Grand Staircase. Oh! I oh, say, what's your step? Are you hurt, Henry? No harm done. No harm. I'm so sorry. Try by my toe. We're the Goss Joneses from Holt Whistle, you know. How are you finding the crossing? 
You're English, then. I would have thought American. Oh, my, my. I didn't mean to insult you. Can't hold a thought. Dreadfully large place, America. Brain like as if she's got... All that space and all those immigrants trying to fill it up. I was just commenting to Henry. On a white star crossing, one meets all the right people. While we were just chatting with a delightful elderly couple in the reception. So that was basically one of the random encounters you can have with the Gorse Joneses. That'll come in handy later. Uh, I won't spoil what's gonna go on with them, but they talk way too much. There's only like five minutes of dialogue. So we're gonna talk to Sasha now. Yes? You found him. Sasha Barbican of Barbican Galleries. Now, what is it that I can help you with? For Vlad? He's on board? Please come in. <laughs> he did it. I told him not to. Told him I... When Austria took Bosnia, they were killed. Ask Vlad, I don't... Our history is quite complex. Certainly. Georgia exudes a certain romantic paranoia. Continuously. Georgia? Good night. Basically, everyone drones on in this game, and I really don't have time to listen to a lot of the dialogue. Basically, everything is pretty much intertwined. Um, the guy who's... you're going to Vlad to talk to Vlad is the same guy that knows Georgia and all that stuff, so it's all mixed together. So, we're gonna go down back to the engine room. Back to the boiler room, rather. And we're going to go give the package to Vlad, and you'll see what happens when I get there. He's very mad. I'm sorry about the cursor, but, you know, it's part of the game, so... I'm going to try not to move it too, uh, too much. But, uh, it tends to happen, because you have to click on a lot of stuff in this. Every door. Okay. Thank you. I must see Mr. Barbicon. I have bad news. He will not be happy. I am looking for something, something very important, but it's not here. You have seen a small... It is of no importance. Good night. So there you go. He wanted the Rubaiyat, and we moved it, so he didn't bother to look anywhere else, and he's just really upset. So we have the Rubaiyat now. And this, uh, in over here, is what you're holding in your hand. And there's a certain uh, things in the game you don't really want to carry around in your hand. And the main plot item for the whole game is, is one of those things. So, this game tells you what to do pretty well, but sometimes it throws you for a loop, but it doesn't really hold your hand that much. And there's a lot of ways to die if you're not careful. If, basically, it's all logic. If you're not... If, if you're not... If you don't think you're gonna die, so we're going to talk to Penny now. Did you get it? Did you find the Rubaiyat? Let me see. That's the Rubaiyat, all right. Well done. Leave it with the purser for safekeeping. It shall be undisturbed there. So basically, everything you find out, you tell Penny, and then she tells you what to do after that. So we're just going to tell her all this stuff. I don't have any information about Vlad. Zeitel's Titanic contact is a London art dealer named Sasha Barbican. Smashing. I was wondering how you got so dirty. More art? Zeitel's no connoisseur. No, there's something about that painting of interest to the German high command. The painting's what Zeitel's really after. You must secure it. Where or how, I don't care. Just find it and bring it back here. Remember, 
Leave the Rubaiyat with the Persa for safekeeping. You might also know where the painting is stored. Sneak a peek at his cargo manifest. That should help you find the painting. Cargo stored somewhere beneath the forecastle deck. Things are thickening up quite nicely, aren't they? We've got to get our hands on that painting. Don't fail. So now we gotta go get a painting. So basically, we have to go see the purser. There are certain items that you get in the game that you really cannot carry with you. Thea, Thea. If I seem to remember, if you are carrying the Rubaiyat and you talk to Zytel or Sasha, uh, they know you have it and they will kill you. Very nice. Security is our first priority. I'll put it in the safe. And they'll tell you later when, when, uh, Why, when, when you need what a do bat. You know? Not that it matters. I'm much too busy. I must get this message through from Mr. Th Help? Glad. So basically, in order to look at his manifest, I have to do these little jobs for him. And it's a bit annoying. But there you go. So what he wants me to do is send this telegram. So I have to send this telegram on the wrong side. This is... Ooh. Quick, I've tracked Zytel and Sasha to the ship's stern. They're having a rather heated conversation. See if you can listen in. I'll track their movements. So that's one of the things that ends up happening. So what I have to do is, they're on the boat deck. So I have to go under we have he like here and listen to it. Which is? The Rubiat. It was not at your drop point. You are sure? Most definitely. But I put it there myself. What happened? There's a third party on board. An agent working against you. Against us. How do you know? My servants saw them at the drop. They now have the Rubiat. This could ruin me, Zydel, if I were found out. But they should take precautions. What about the painting? Did your associate bring it up from the cargo hold? No, I don't have it. No? But I put it there myself. Sasha, I've discovered a traitor. Don't look so startled. It is not you. You mean Adelitz, your associate? No longer my associate, I am afraid. They leave us an intellectual. And intellectuals aren't smart enough for espionage. Now, I must recover the painting, and its plans. I fear this third party may already have possession of it. And Adelitz? Thank you for asking. Billy will bring no further harm to the Fatherland, I assure you. Let us plan. So everybody wants that painting, so let's talk to Georgia. I knew you'd come. Charles received a telegram from the solicitors. Our estate... Yeah, she just drones on more about being broke and how her husband is gonna uh, divorce her, yada yada. Stupid, stupid bull crap, you know. So we gotta send this telegram. So this is the most annoying job ever, because you have to type every letter and you can't really type everything out at once because uh, it can't record all of it and you'll skip letters so we're just going to turn this whole thing on it goes to transmit and then we got to bring it up bring it up to 200 to, s to send messages tell the lights blinking we click on this, open up the telegram, put the telegram around there, and now we type. We have to type to Pennsylvania Railroad and all that, and then all of this. Okay? I'm probably gonna speed this up. <laughs> 